I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric inequalities. Here is an excellent question from one of our subscribers who wants to understand how to solve trigonometric inequalities. Now, we have three parts to this question. I will actually go through the basic concepts and that could be your foundation for solving trigonometric inequalities. The question here is, solve the following for theta where theta is between 0 to 360 degrees. Now in some of the questions you may not be given the restriction. So in some of the question you may go for general solution also. We'll talk about that at the end. Part A is x equals to sine theta where x is greater than or equal to minus 1 over square root 2 and less than or equal to 1 over square root 2. Then we'll talk about x equals to cos theta where x is between 1 over square root 2 and 1 both included. Part C is a practice question for you. We have x equals to cos 2 theta this time. That means two waves in this duration. And we want x to be greater than or equal to minus 1 over square root 2 and less than 1. Now let us see how to find solution for such inequalities. They seem to be basic, but they will give us the foundation. What do we need to know? First step which we need to know here is, whenever you are solving inequalities, it is a good practice to find when will x be equal to the limits which are minus 1 over square root 2 and 1 over square root 2, right? So that we can find very easily. 1 over square root 2 means 45 degrees, correct? Plus or minus means we have to decide which quadrant. So let's do the first part here. Let me do it here. So when we say 1 over square root 2, then immediately it comes to our mind that it is 45 degrees, correct? When sine function will be 1 over square root 2. So that means we are working within these boundaries where the angle is, uh, let me write down the angle theta is equal to 45 degrees. In this quadrant it is 1, 2, 3 times 45, that is 135. Now here it is 4, 5 times 145, so multiply by 5, 5 times 5 is 25, 225. 45 less than uh, 360 degrees, right? So we, or you could multiply this by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So if you multiply by 7, 7 times 5, 35, 3, 7 times 4 is 28, and 3, 1, 5 degrees, right? How did I get 45 degrees? Well, I used this triangle, which we are going to use all over. So basically we use our special triangle. You could use calculator. I'm avoiding calculator. Okay. So if it is 45 degrees, then it's an isosceles triangle and the sides are 1, 1, hypotenuse square root 2. So both sine and cosine are 1 over square root 2. Now what you need to remember is that the rule, all are positive here, right? All are positive here. Sine is po positive here, tan in quadrant 3, and cosine in quadrant 4. One more thing which reminds you of sine theta is its curve, the nature. So, so let me sketch a sine theta curve. It begins with 0, and it has three zeros in the duration 0 to 2 pi, right? That is how it is. So what you notice here is that sine theta increases as you go away from the horizontal axis. Sine theta increases. So when you are there at 90 degrees, it is maximum. Okay? And it decreases as you approach. Right. So that is another important thing to do. Now based on this itself, we can actually find our solution. We are looking for actually solution where x is between positive and negative value of 1 over square root 2, which is kind of in between, right? So 
the limits are one right you know that now let me just draw a line here so we are looking for the duration when it is between these two positive and negative values that means uh, <clears throat> all from zero to this value right so negative square root 2 to this within this band we are looking for so that means we are looking for values which are closer to zero right so zero is included in this between negative and positive <coughs> zero is included so so the part of the graph which is very close to this particular axis is what we are looking into correct now it is negative in coordinate 3 and coordinate 4 and positive in coordinate 1 and in coordinate 3 so clearly from here the solution should be in between these sides correct that should be a solution because you're closer to these limits of 1 over square root 2 correct so these are your solutions is that clear to you right so that is how you could provide your solutions so that is how visually you see so since we are within this we are closer to closer to horizontal you can say uh, <clears throat> the the horizontal axis Correct. So that gives you the solution directly. You know these values. So it is from here to there and from this place to that place. You could write. Is that okay? Now since we are given that theta is from 0 to 360, you have to write in increasing order. Correct. So in our case, we are going to write the value of theta as between 0 degrees to 45 degrees now both included correct and then from 135 degrees you have to include that to 225 degrees and then from 315 to 360 degrees so that becomes your solution when x is equals to sine theta and x is between plus and minus 1 over square root 2. It doesn't make sense to you. So we actually found out only a 45 degree points and got the answer. So that is the kind of uh, concept which you have to think about when you answer these questions. Once you have this in mind, it will be very simple. Now let's look into cosine theta and apply the same concept. In cosine theta, the graph of the function is, it is 1 at 0, right? So it is kind of like this. So that is one wave. This time we are looking for a solution where x is between 1 over square root 2 and 1. That means we are looking for something which is in this portion. Here, in this portion. Correct? Now, if you look into the coordinate plane for cos theta also, 1 over square root 2 really means that this is positive value, right? 45 degrees we are working with. So cos is positive in coordinates 1 and 4. Right? You can see cos is positive in coordinate 1 and 4. We want a positive value. So the answer lies within this period, right? So, so clearly 1 over square root 2 and this, you can see this is coordinate 1 for you. This is coordinate 2, 3, and this is 4. So we are looking for these two bands. So that is what we are looking for. So our solution should be from 0 degrees, right? This is 0 degrees. This is 45 degrees. And this is 315 back to 360. So in this case, our solution is from 0 degrees to 45 degrees, union, from 315 degrees to 360 degrees. 
does it make sense to you so we found that cos theta is equal to 1 over square root 2 for 45 degrees angle from this special triangle and then just from our knowledge of their graph and behavior we could definitely find out it is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4 and so it is very much within this including these points perfect so that is the concept and you straight away get your solution these are basic questions which help you to understand how to solve trigonometric inequalities now when we complicate them this is going to be a massive base for you to solve questions now let's look into cos 2 theta i'm actually going to leave this for you so what you need to think here is <clears throat> how will this cos 2 theta graph look like the only difference here is that they now we have two waves right earlier we had just one wave within 0 to 360 for cos 2 theta we'll have two waves right so actually gets horizontally compressed and so that is what you get between 0 to 360 degrees now in this question we are looking for x greater than or equal to minus 1 over square root 2 and 1 so that means almost everything except for when it is below so let me draw one line here this is for minus 1 over square root 2 right so you want everything except this portion so I like you to pause the video, solve this, and then look into my solution. Perfect. Now, let me take it on a fresh page. Here is how I'm going to solve this particular equation. So as I was discussing, the first thing is we need to figure out that cos 2 theta will be equals to 1 over square root 2. And this time it is negative when this is first thing which we need to figure out right okay so it is going to be negative in quadrant three and four right so we just found that it is 45 degrees angle which makes it one over square root two right so this is 135 225 315 cos is negative here so we want it to be everywhere except from minus 1 2 1 over 2 right? and cos is greater value if you are going or approaching the horizontal axis correct so it is minus in this portion these two are your negative values of cosine Let's also sketch cos 2x graph, which I did in the previous page, to get our complete uh, insight to the function, right? So we'll have two waves here. Right, so that gives you two 360 degrees. What are we saying? We want from minus 1 over square root 2. Let's say this line represents minus 1 over square root 2. So we want everything except for this small band. Right. Do you see that? We don't want this band. But everything else. Now this particular band, when it is between minus 1 over square root 2 and minus 1, lies in these two quadrants. Correct? Okay? And higher values means that it is closer. So we don't want this portion. That is all. So what we need really is, as you can see from here, we need everything except for these two. This value of negative happens at 135. Right? And then back this portion is closer so this is not required so let me just cross out this so we have to cross out this portion that is it do you see that portion right now in our case this happens twice why we are working on theta which is less than or equal to 0 degrees and 360 degrees it is cost 
2 theta this time. So for 2 theta, we have to double this up. So 360 times 2, which gives us 720 degrees. You understand? So we have to go for two waves. So in one particular wave, 2 theta, this is based on 2 theta, right? So, so I'll write, just write 2 theta does not belong to the group 135 to 225. Doesn't make sense. Well, it could be this much, so we'll not include this. So that is in first 360. And second, we'll say union, it does not even belong to, let me write here, add 360 to this. Correct? So which is the next cycle. So when you add 360, that is to say, what are we doing here is, we add 360 for the second cycle, because we have to go up to 720, right? So when you add 360, you get, let me write it in a different thing. So we get 5, 6 and 3 is 9, 3 and 1 is 4, 495. And the other value is 5, 6 and 2 is 8, 3 and 2 is 580. This is for 2 theta. So the limit for theta will be not equal to divide them by 2. Correct? So when you divide them by 2, you get 62.5, right? So, so when you do uh, 67.5, 6 and 15, so it is 67.5, dividing by 2, 1, 1, 2.5 union. This is not equal to, remember that, okay? So, 2 and um, 2, 4, 15, 7.5 and 2, 18 is 9, 2.5. So it is not equal to this. All the others are in the domain, right? So theta is not equal to this. Or you could write your answer as, let me just push this a bit. So we could also write our answer as theta is equal to, we have to include our interval, right? So because it is from zero to this, so from zero to 67.5, right? include both right so from zero to this and then from the other limit to one one two point five to two forty five two forty seven point five right and then from 29, 292.5 to 360. Does make sense to you. So it is including this portion. So that is how you could do for cos 2 theta. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So I hope with this you understand the concept. When you have trigonometric inequalities, first step is to find the value at which the function could be that value, right? So work out the extreme values. Then try to analyze whether which interval we are taking and then place your answer. At times, if the angle is like 2 theta or 3 theta, the domain also changes. Multiply accordingly, adjust your domain. Perfect. Now, the last part here is general solution. So sometimes we might look for general solution. So in that case, you can always add or subtract 360 degrees, which is the period. Perfect. So I hope with this, you understand how to solve trigonometric inequalities. I'll provide you with links where we'll have some more to practice for you. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.